Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today is going to be all of the makeup items I am currently project panning. This is a video I do in collaboration with my friends Jessica and Amanda. I will have their channels linked down below as always. And basically what we do is we compile all of the makeup from all of our projects, put them all together so we could see exactly how many foundations we're painting, how many lip products we're painting between all the projects combined. I love doing this video. It's always nice to kind of see it all together. If I'm feeling frustrated that I'm not making much progress in one area, sometimes when I see everything laid out, it explains everything and I'm like, well, that's why I'm not making much progress because I've spread myself too thin. I don't know, I just really like these videos. Um, I did see in the comments, FTC MUA, that you were just asking about this video, so here you go. You are psychic because it was planned for today all along. I am especially excited to be doing this video now in January because I've just incorporated so many new products into my project pan routine and my daily makeup routine that it's really exciting and there's so much new going on um, that, yeah. I'm excited to lay it all out and see how much I have. I haven't done that yet. I'm, I'm filming this part now and then I'm going to film all the makeup laid out. So it's just in a big pile on the floor right now. All of the non-makeup items I'm project panning will be coming up in a few days, so look out for that if you like this type of video. And please go check out Jessica and Amanda's videos and see what they're panning. I bet it's a lot. I bet it's a lot. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I have painstakingly laid out every piece of makeup that's currently in a project pan. I think. I don't think I missed anything. I am so excited to show you guys. Are you ready? No peeking. Are you ready? Okay, here it is. Oh my goodness. That's everything. Everything you see on this white board is currently in a project pan. I've organized them by category. Let's take it from the top. I currently have four deluxe size and one full size face primer in projects. I have two illuminators that I tend to apply before foundation and after primer. I have one color correcting palette. I have three samples of foundation, a tinted serum, and a foundation. I have three concealers, a stick, a pen, and a little pan. I have one cream bronzer palette. I have three cream highlighters. I have one cream blush, three eyeshadow primers, two loose powders, and one pressed powder two bronzers, my Too Faced No Filter Selfie Palette, which I'm calling a finishing powder palette, one powder highlighter, four colorful eyeshadow bases, 22 single eyeshadows. Hi guys, I am editing this video right now and I cannot count. Why did I say there's only 22 single eyeshadows? There's 24. It's clear as day. And I counted them before I said that. There's 24 single eyeshadows I'm currently working on. I need to get some sleep. All right, enjoy the video. One duo right there, a trio. These five palettes over here. Five eyeliners, two glitter liners, two lip balms, five lipsticks, four lip glosses, two liquid lipsticks, one lip liner, and two samples of lipsticks. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. I think this is everything. 
that is currently in a project pan. There are items that I use pretty regularly that are not in a project pan, like my eyebrow products and mascaras. I never put those in projects. The um, pan of blush that I was working on in my Pan That palette that is almost gone is not in a project. I'm just trying to finish it off. There's a few things, but for the most part, these are the products I reach for every single day. And these are the products I, one, am trying to finish first before going back to my stash for more. And two, I'm hoping to finish completely by the end of the year. That's not gonna happen. Um, but hopefully a lot of this will be gone by this time next year. When I look at all of the categories, most of them seem pretty realistic until we get to eyeshadows. <laughs> um, but a lot of those eyeshadows, I'm not trying to actually finish. I'm just trying to hit pan on. And 20 of those eyeshadows are in a long-term project that will probably take more than a year. So if I take out those eyeshadows, it becomes a lot more realistic. Some of the items that you see before you are in a project that will be ending tomorrow. So basically what you see here is a revolving door. Things are coming in, things are moving out. That's what keeps it interesting and that's what keeps me motivated to keep project panning because some products I'm focused on finishing for the long haul. Others kind of come in for a little while and then go out for a little while. So that's kind of how I make it work. That is it, you guys. That is all of the makeup I'm currently project panning. Jessica and Amanda and I will do this again in a few months. I think we do it every four months. I'm not sure, but we'll be back in a few months showing you how this has changed and how it looks different. I will try to link a playlist down below of the previous videos I have done of the makeup on project panning so that you could compare and see how it's been changing because I think this is our third time doing one of these. I think. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.